Hello and welcome back to another WordPress training video for the Nebraska Libraries on the Web project. In this episode, we're going to talk about the reCAPTCHA um, widget. Actually, it's not a better term, a plugin uh, that we've installed and the settings for that and what it actually does. Um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to start out in the browser. I'm on the Nebraska Libraries on the Web project blog, and this is one of the posts that I did just earlier today is an update on these training videos. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll on down here. And what you're going to see here is this leave a reply area, which is pretty standard on all of our blogs. might look a little different depending upon your theme. But then below that is this reCAPTCHA thing that we've got here. And many of you have probably seen these on other websites. Basically what this is, is a spam filter. And the idea is that anybody leaving a comment on the website needs to be able to type in these words that in theory proves they're human, um, not that they're, they're any sort of robot or, uh, or uh, automated system for spam, and then typed in correctly, they can submit the comment. Uh, they can hear these words in audio, they can reload them if these are hard to read, they can get a little help. But basically, it's, it's a CAPTCHA system, just like on most other websites. So. This is something we've installed for you uh, on our end, and we've set up for you. But there are some settings that you may want to take a look at, um, and so let's go ahead and talk about those. Now, I'm looking at this in Firefox, and I'm doing that for a reason for a moment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna actually going to switch over to my regular browser, Chrome, and I'm already in the back end. And what I've done here is I've gone into Settings and then reCAPTCHA. And so what we have is this screen. Now, there's actually two sections of the screen. Uh, we're only using the first section. I'll, I'll briefly explain what the second section does. Um, the first one is uh, this reCAPTCHA area, and most of this should already be filled in for you by default. Um, the first thing is you need what are called public and private keys to integrate this into your system with the reCAPTCHA system. Uh, those are keys. I've already put them in for you. There's no need to get those. If you do find that these fields are blank, chances are whenever you're on the back end, it's going to warn you that these fields are blank, something about, you know, you need to go get a reCAPTCHA key. If they are blank, drop me a line. I will get that fixed for you. There is no reason why you need to go get your own key. Okay. Uh, the next area here is comment options. Uh, these are both checked by default. Um, the first one is enable reCAPTCHA for comments. Unchecking this will turn off CAPTCHAs on your comments. This is not something you want to do. I know they might seem annoying to some of you, but uh, they really will cut down on comment spam. We had these turned off for a while early on in the project, and it was a big problem, so we turned them back on. Um, hide reCAPTCHA for registered users who can, and then by default this is publish posts, and then you'll notice that there are some other options here. Basically what this is going to do is this is going to allow you as um, you, you, the, the, the people who administrate uh, your website, who can publish posts on your website, to not have to fill in the CAPTCHA if you are logged into the system. Okay, What do I mean by that? This is a little hard to explain. I, I had to work out how to do this. If we go back to Firefox here for a moment, you will see that this reCAPTCHA is here. This is because according to Firefox, I have not logged in to my blog. Okay. But if we switch back over to Chrome where I am logged in, and you know I'm logged in because if I wasn't logged in, I wouldn't be able to look at these screens. And I look at that exact same blog post in the Chrome browser, and I scroll on down, you will notice it knows I'm logged in as me, and the reCAPTCHA isn't there. Okay? So that's what this setting does. Okay? If you uncheck this, this means you and your staff, even if they're logged in, will have to fill in a reCAPTCHA. Okay? In most cases, even checking this, you know, all of your regular readers, your patrons will have to do it, and you want them to do it, but you can basically turn it off for your staff, and that's what I've done here. All right. The next one is theme. Uh, you can do red, which is what you've seen already. There's a white, black glass, and clean. Um, if I do this real quick here, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and change this to clean and click update options. Okay. And then I will go back to Firefox and refresh this so you can see what clean looks like. Um, do, do, okay, scroll on down. And actually, that really didn't change much, did it? Okay, let me try this one more time real quick. Uh, I want to see if we can get this to work just to show you, but I don't want to draw this video out too long. Refresh that. Whoops, sorry. I'm going to go back to Firefox and refresh that. 
and it's still red. So, okay, well, in theory, it's supposed to work. And actually, if you read this blog post that I'm showing you here, this is one of those areas where sometimes making these videos are not as easy as I would like them to be. But in theory, you should be able to change the color here. Why that isn't working right now, I don't know. Uh, this next one, tab index, there's absolutely no reason to fill that in. This has to do how, with how the cat tab key works with forms. Uh, don't go ahead and play with that um, unless you really think you know what it does, then test, test, test. Okay. Um, the next one here is registration options. Now, most of our websites are we're not registering users. There are ways to do that. Um, but uh, if you want to do that, you can. Um, you can uncheck this if you want. We're really not using it in the project itself. Next section, error messages. These are already put in here. Basically, it's what should the user be told if they don't type in the correct CAPTCHA. This is where those messages are. You can really change them if you want. We suggest you just leave those as they are. Last thing here is general settings. Uh, leave it in English. You, uh, this checkbox here about XML 1.0 strict compliant. Um, again, a little more technical than I want to get into, but notice it does say bad for users who don't have JavaScript enabled. Um, which you know the majority do. I, I just wouldn't check this. Uh, it basically, if you check this, you could cause some problems with how it works with some people in some browsers. Um, if for some reason I ever feel it's necessary, I'll let everybody know. But really, leaving this as is should be fine. Um, that's basically the specific stuff I wanted to go over in this one dealing with reCAPTCHA. Um, there is another feature called mail hide, which is a way of hiding email addresses in theory, theory to prevent spam. Um, basically, since as part of this project, we're recommending that you really don't put many email addresses on your website. Um, you know, let people use the comment uh, a form on the um, blog posts, on the pages. Uh, let them use the contact form if they want to get a hold of you. There's really no reason to put your email address directly onto any of your pages. Um, if you decide to, uh, the, the instructions are here, you click on mail hide, um, you will have to generate a key on your own, that is not something we're supplying. If, if this sounds like something you really want to use, as I've said before with a few other advanced features, uh, go ahead and drop me a line, let's talk about it, but really there isn't anything you really should need to do here. Um, if you have changed anything, go ahead and click update options, that should work. Again, sorry, I don't know why that theme uh, color wasn't changing. Um, and that's it for the reCAPTCHA settings. Uh, as always, if you've got any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment on the blog, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks.